I'm Sam Kelajoni from Dogfish Head Brewery. Um, I'm Devin with Dogfish Head Brewery. Gorgeous date, Devin. And we're here at the Brick Store, the Story Brick Store. This is my first time here. Uh, it's my second time in Atlanta when our brewery was going through its first expansion. I actually flew down here for an auction of a brewery and bought Abita's original bottling line. I forget the name of the brewery that it came out of, uh, but somewhere in the outskirts of... Sweetwater, maybe? Or? Uh, I'm not sure who it was. I don't think it was them. So that was my only other trip. And then uh, we, I just really wanted to come down and see uh, what's happening down here because George is selling the snot out of dogfish and beers out of 27 states. I think it's number six in the country for us. So uh, popping the cap here and having a higher ABVs really made our beer uh, kind of uh, come into its own in this market. I've been, talk I've been talking up uh, Brick Store Pub and just the Atlanta territory in general for such a long time. I've had the territory for a couple of, for about a year and a half, two years now, and just been uh, aching to get Sam down here. So to finally have this happen and it's just you know finally come to fruition, it's just going to be a great event tonight. And, uh, we're really excited. We've got a great lineup of uh, some really exotic beers. And, uh, this year's pumpkin ale is tasting great. Red and white tasting nice. We're bringing some red and white right now, and then uh, coming out in a little bit. Tell us about the next beer we have. Oh yeah, we got a uh, uh, coming to this market. The next new one that'll be available in bottles is a beer called Theobroma, uh, which uh, is the oldest known chocolate beverage uh, before beverage was before chocolate was eaten as a solid. It was actually the drink of royalty in Central America. The way our countries. Uh, today fight over oil rich lands. Uh, back in the day the uh, Aztecs used to fight over the lands where the best cocoa uh, was, was grown and we've gotten this cocoa from a company called Ascanosi Chocolate in St. Louis and they're the only ones that have been able to uh, import this chocolate from uh, this region uh, in, in Central America. So we've put over $4,000 worth of chocolate nibs in 1,200 cases of beer. Uh, so it's uh, not exactly a money-making proposition for dogfish, but the beer tastes awesome and we're bottling it on the 15th, so we're psyched about that one. And it's also got chilies and honey in it as well. Yep, right? it's got chili, it's got honey, I think it's got three out of four food groups in it. <laughs> so hide a bottle in your car in case you get an avalanche or snowed in somewhere. You, you could live for like a week off that one bottle of alcohol. Just don't drink and drive. <laughs> All right. What other things can we talk about? What else is new with Uh I've just been working the territory like crazy uh, as far as, you know, I did the Classic City Brew Fest this spring and I'm planning to be at the Decatur Brew Fest uh, this fall and uh, have some pumpkin ale there and uh, some stuff like that. So, you know, the two big festivals that are coming to the area, I want to try, try to have a bigger uh, dogfish at presence at. And, Try to get some uh, some Theobroma into some of the key accounts like Brick Store and whatnot, so you guys all have a chance to try them. And and then I got to do last night in Savannah. I was really impressed with their uh, beer scenes really starting to catch fire. Uh, Noble Fair, is that where it was? Noble Fair. Really cool little restaurant that was a one time uh, house of ill repute. Uh, although, from what I heard, almost every other house in house Savannah at one time it was a house of ill repute, but uh, it was a really cool place. Uh, and this place is just amazing. It's like a wooden, a wooden womb, you know? It's, it's not a room, it's a womb. It's what it feels like in here, and I've heard so much about it, and the owners are really cool. I got to meet them. I'm psyched to do this beer dinner. Um, what else? We'll be at the Summit uh, Wayside Tavern tomorrow night. Oh yeah, another famous uh, place. For a beer dinner there yep. in uh, Woodstock, Georgia. And then uh, I'll be at uh, in Brunswick, Georgia doing a dinner at uh, Cargo Portside Grill on Friday night. And just for reference, today is September 9th, 2008. Today is, right. September, yep, today right. is September 9th. So uh, we've got some, a lot of events down here in Georgia. And then we've got the Decatur Fest in October. Um, Lots lot going on in Georgia. I'm really, I'm really impressed since I've had this territory with the craft beer scene down here. I came down with very little expectations and was really surprised at uh, the amount of people willing to invest in good beer and, and uh, have places like Brick Store and Summit and, and you know, the great press and, uh, that, that uh, is out there uh, talking about all the good beers that you can find out there. It's, it's a burgeoning market for us to get out. Yep, we're selling more beer in Georgia than we are in California. I'm pretty sure California is bigger than Georgia, so I'm pretty impressed. If you could boil the magic of, of the dogfish head beers down to one idea or one concept, what, what would you say it is? Why are they so magical and so popular? And why do they speak to so many people? Um, I think because they, they're, they're, I think people can recognize genuine creativity and 
I don't think our brewery looks to the left or right of us of what our friendly competitors are doing. We kind of follow our own views, keep putting the wear in Delaware and the mental and experimental and uh, coming up with something new and fun to do and, and uh, I think that resonates with people because part of what craft beer uh, renaissance is about is promiscuity and cheating on your favorite beer. <laughs> And, uh, and, and uh, that's what we're welcoming people to do. I think, I think it really, you know, chef and dogfish and beers above and beyond other beers tend to really challenge your palate. Uh, in some cases, uh, against the norm and against the traditional styles, and, and really uh, force you to think outside the box as far as you know what you may and you may may take you a few sips. I remember the Festina Pesh. I didn't really know what to think at first. Didn't know if I liked it. When your own salesman, one of my, one of my take favorite the beers. First sip of your beer, go, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might want to think about and, doing and more R&D. And now I'm completely hooked on the stuff, so uh, and it's, it's fun to work for a brewery that you know really challenges the palate like that on a day-to-day -day basis every, every time a new beer comes out. Yeah. That won't change. That's, what's, right. that's a fun part of our jobs. Okay. All right, well, it's great to have you guys here in Georgia. Thank you, Andre. Great, great to be here. And if people want to come up and visit the brew pub, tell them about the, the tours. Yeah, we have a great over 500 people every week come through our, our Milton Brewery tour, and then we have our own distillery in our pub, if you can imagine that. Uh, and you can come watch us make gin, vodka, and rum. Uh, while you eat your wood grilled uh, food. That's in Rehoboth Beach. That one's in Rehoboth Beach. And all of that information is available at dogfish.com. <laughs> dogfish.com. Shameless promotional plug. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Try well, the Veal. We also have the uh, uh, Dogfish at Ale Houses in the Metro DC area that uh, in uh, licensing a uh, different company that runs those and they're doing an amazing job. So it has our wood grilled food, our beers, including a lot of really special, hard to find vintage stuff. Uh, and they do a great job of Up service. in the DC area, you can check that out yeah. too. Yeah. Right. Good deal. Be safe out there. <laughs>